What's going on everybody and welcome to the first ever episode of Tommy's Bakery. Well, well, well. Today is the first ever episode of Tommy's Bakery and I wanted to start this series to do more of like baking things and save Tommy's Kitchen to more of cooking things. So if you're confused, baking things are more like cakes, pies, cookies, like a bunch of dessert, like dessert type stuff. So like remember when we did that gingerbread video way back in, in the beginning of, in the, I think like two years ago it was, the gingerbread video. So that would be more of a baking video. So this is going to be more kind of that, that type of stuff. But the first thing that we're going to be cooking today is something a little different, I think very interesting. It's something that I made, I think in science class when I used to be in school, when I was in like, I think like middle school or high school or something and it's a apple pie but instead of using apples you're using Ritz crackers and I and I don't know if let me know in the comments down below if you guys made this before or made this in like your science class and and like when you're when you're in school or if you are making it and if you're currently in school I do remember making this as this was definitely one of the more cool projects that I've done and I'm a person that hated school since the beginning so Let's head over to the ingredients table. So as, as you can see, Tommy's Bakery is going to be a lot more structured and a lot more stress-free and mess-free. What do I mean by this? Well, everything is pre-measured out. So we're going we're gonna to go the easier way when it comes to the pie crust. We're going to be... Just the pie crust, Tillsbury Doughboy from the food store. You could use your own pie crust, but just out of ease of use, I just bought pie crust, which they are now coming to room temperature. And now here, we, we have our sugar, and you're gonna be needing two cups of sugar. And then, over here, we have our butter. We need one whole cup of butter. All right, guys, so I did make a quick mistake, but I did catch it before it became catastrophic. So, with the butter, you're not supposed to use two cups. It's two tablespoons of butter. When I wrote down in it in my notes, I knew when I wrote it down, it did not seem right. Two cup, two cups, uh, one cup of butter. That does not make any sense. So, luckily, I caught it before we went further and started, you know, put this thing in, in the oven for the next part of the video. And then we're going to go to our Ritz crackers, and you're going to need 36 crackers, so that's one full sleeve and three loose crackers. And now moving on, we have our lemon juice. So this is two tablespoons of lemon juice. And then we have lemon zest from one large lemon. And then we have two teaspoons of cream of tartar, which is right over here. This is the, the magic sign stuff here that makes that makes the magic happen. And then the next thing we have here, and the last thing we're gonna be needing for this part of the video, is that we are gonna be needing one and one one and one third cup of water. And now as you can see over here, we got my little my notes for when I was doing my research, my little cheat sheet, so I know what I'm doing. Alrighty, so let's jump into the video. Okay, so to begin, you're going to want to take your, a pot, put your stove on to medium heat. Here we go. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your sugar. Oh, this thing's of gas. I'll do this side here so you guys can see it. Take your, sh just put your sugar in. Alrighty. This is the science experiment here. So now you're going to want to do is after that take your one and one third cups of water and now you're going to want to dump that in and then you're going to take the cream of tartar. Now this is the science stuff here. So apparently what this is supposed to do is when this heats up and then when we let it cool the sugar is not supposed to go back to a crystal form. It's supposed to stay, I guess, I guess a liquid, syrupy kind of thing. And then you're gonna to to take your two tablespoons of lemon juice. And then you're gonna to wanna to take your 
lemon zest from a one large lemon. You're going to want to throw that in there as well. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to let this come to a boil. And then when you and then when this comes to a boil, you're going to want to let it cook for 15 minutes. And then we'll pick this back up when this is starting to boil. And then we'll pick yeah we'll pick this back up when this is going to start when this is going to when this is starting to boil. Okay, so as you guys can see, we are at a boil and we just set our timer for 15 minutes. So the next thing we're going to want to do is while this is cooking is that we're going to want to crush our 36 crackers. And I should have used something to crush it. Hold on, hold on. Take a, the good old potato crusher to crush your crackers. And it's actually working pretty good. Now with the sleeve, just slam it. Okay, so now that it's open, oh, not open, that it's crushed. Hey, Tucker, see, get Tucker on the camera. There's Tucker. Tucker says hello. Oh, uh, hi, Tuck. He just had a hair clip. You see his eyeballs. Okay, back to the video. Mm -hmm. So now you're just going to want to dump in your crackers here, just like this. And so now it's just another waiting game again. We're going to wait, the, you know, the 15 minutes for that to cook, and then we'll pick pick things back up again. Okay, so now that it's, it's been 15 minutes, so now what we're going to want to do is just turn off your heat, and then you're just going to want to let it cool for about 30 minutes. But one thing I forgot to do with the crackers is, come over here, is that you're going to be needing one teaspoon of cinnamon. in there you just want to get all nice and mixed good this this is the the apples the apples okay so now we'll pick things back up in 30 minutes once our syrup cools okay so now it's been 30 minutes so now what we want to do is preheat your oven to we want to preheat your oven to 425 degrees There we go. Now, is, and if you can see, if you can pick this up on the camera here, my cameraman, you can see how like slimy it looks. So that's the syrup. Okay. <clears throat> so one thing that we forgot to do is we were supposed to add one teaspoon. Oh wait, we already did this. What the hell am I saying? <laughs> and to uh, remind you guys again, there's two tablespoons of butter, not one cup. <clears throat> okay. So now. You're going to want to take your pie crust bowl thing, take your pie crust out, it's pretty much room temperature now, and just, it smells weird. So now you're just going to want to unroll it, that unrolls easy like this. Okay. It's where the fun begins. Okay, so now <clears throat> we want to put our apples in. Here's our apple crackers here. And then you're going to want to take your, what the hell is this thing called? Oh yeah, the syrup. And you're going to want to pour all that in. Oh look, it already looks like apple pie. Look at it. Okay, so then now the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your butter and just put your... <laughs> butter chunks. Your butter cubes. Now make sure these cubes are like kind of small. Kind of space it out it a little bit. Like 
next thing you're going to want to do is <clears throat> take your other pie crust hey Tucker get Tucker in the video Tucker's in the video I already did like three times <laughs> Tucker is always in the middle of everything <clears throat> okay so now I'm going to pour this over like this and just going to want to smash it together. Great. Perfect. Coming out perfect. <laughs> you might want to put it in like the little rivets here. A little indents like that. That's what they're doing. <clears throat> Put in the <clears throat> It's a little wrinkled, that's okay. It's my first ever pie. It's okay. It's not we're not professionals, we're doing this for fun. <clears throat> So now what we want to do is <clears throat> create an air pocket for your pie. So you can breathe while cooking. Okay, so now what we're going to want to do is wait till our oven gets up to our the proper temperature, and then you're going to want to put this in there for about 30 to 35. Okay, so now our oven is at 425 degrees. So now you're going to want to take our pie and we're going to put it in there for 30 minutes to start. Now remember, this you want to want this to cook for about 30 to 35 minutes. Alrighty guys, so we did end up putting it in there for 35 minutes. And here is the finished product. Oh my god, it's hot. Here's the finished product. Okay, so now what we're gonna to want to do is just let it cool off for a few minutes, just let it get kind of too warm, and then we'll do a nice good old taste test. Okay, so now it's been about I want to say like like an hour. Our cake has been, not a cake, our pie has been cooled. So let's cut her open and see if it came out good. I mean, it looks like apple pie. Try it. It's freaking good. <laughs> it's like apple pie. Has like an apple pie. Got like a lemon taste. A little bit of a lemon taste in it from the lemon. Um, the only thing I would do differently is I would probably not put the lemon in it. I only, I'm really only a fan of lemon when it's just in water. But uh, the, the lemon taste is very, very, it's not extreme. So, you know, it's fine. That's just my personal preference. But overall, this is definitely a cool science experiment. Cool little house project to, to make. Here's a close-up of the cracker apple pie. It's not, it's not. It looks like an apple pie, but it's not apples, it's crackers. So, as you can see, this was definitely a success, a good success for the, our first episode of our first episode of Tommy's Bakery. And 
if you have any ideas on what, if you guys want me to make anything that's like baking or kind of weird, like kind of like this, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. So that's gonna wrap up. That's gonna wrap up today's episode of Tommy's Bakery. If you like this video, please be sure to smash that like button. And if you want to see more videos like these, please consider subscribing. Alrighty, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.